men's 1500 final brings together the reigning champion O'Sullivan from 87 and 89 and mostly the new track sensation of this winter from Algeria. He's the new world indoor record holder. Morsely, softly spoken, shy from tennis on the Algerian coast. But those qualities belying a very, very tough interior indeed. Compact little runner, very reminiscent of Saida Wita, another of those North Africans who've made, of course, such a huge impact. Seven and a half laps, the men's 1500 meters at the World Indoor Championships. And Cacho has taken it from the front. Right behind him is Silva, 2-1-4. Marcus O'Sullivan is up there, the double world indoor champion on the inside. Morsely keeping himself out of trouble. Atkinson there on the inside and it's slow. There'll be no world record here. This one is going to be run tactically and almost falling over each other there at the back of the field. But Cacho's out in front with O'Sullivan, the Irishman right there with him, O'Sullivan, who's won twice before, remember. Lost his spikes yesterday, that might have upset him. Coming out the outside to make it a bit faster is Morsely himself. He's not going to leave this for somebody with uh, a devastating burst over the final 100 or so. He's going to make this a respectable pace. You go through that time in about 50 seconds. Morsely has the lead. Cacho is there in the second place. Silva towards the outside. O'Sullivan in the all green on the inside. Behind him, Kolka, former European bronze medalist. And coming wide is Bush, the German. White with the red band in about fifth place at the moment. No move at all from Terry Harrington at the back and Sahiri and Melnikov as they come around this time with five to run. The favourite Morsley has the lead. Cacho is in second place. Jeff Atkinson is in third. Atkinson finished third in the world indoors last time in Budapest. And O'Sullivan, who got into an awful lot of trouble in the semi final, keeping himself right up there with the pace this time. And they come around this time, they'll have four to run. Norden Morselu, the 21-year-old Algerian, has the lead. Fermin Cacho of Spain is in second. O'Sullivan, the defending champion, is three. Then Atkinson is four. Kolka is five. Silva on the outside for Portugal is in sixth place. Harrington seven. Bush eight. Zahiri nine. Melnikov ten. That's how they line up as they come round with three and a half to go. And Morselli is still dominating things from the front and looks full of running. But Cacho is so strong there, the Spaniard in second place. Crowd absolutely absorbed in this one. Three to go in the final of the 1500 meters and here comes Jeff Atkinson now trying to take the initiative away from the Algerian who just puts on another little spurt and won't let him go through. It's Morsely one, Atkinson the American in second place from the Nike West Club. Cacho has fallen back into third, Silva is in four, O'Sullivan is five and Morsely's wound it up on this lap and Cacho's gone second again and listen to the crowd respond to that. Coming around this time with two to go, 400 meters out and Morsely bit by bit winds it up from the front it's quickening up now all right Silva's gone through into third place ahead of Atkinson O'Sullivan is in fifth Kolka is in sixth the rest of them are struggling still Morsely one and a half laps to go Fermin Cacho there in second place third is Silva of Portugal we thought it might be between those three for the medals Marcus O'Sullivan is running so bravely in fourth Jeff Atkinson can't go with this as they come to the bell, and Morsely is piling on the pressure, pitilessly, remorselessly, and he's opened up a gap, but Cacho is still with him. Silva is there in third place, O'Sullivan is fourth, and look at Norden Morselli going for this now. But Cacho is still there, can he kick past him, the Spaniard? Morsely opens up the gap to four metres, I don't think Cacho can get to him, he can't, he's terrific this little Algerian, brilliant, Norden Morselli takes the gold medal, kisses the air, Cacho gets the silver, and the silver of Portugal, the bronze, O'Sullivan is fourth, Kolker is fifth, Atkinson is sixth, and the time was three minutes, 41.56, it's way outside his world record, but what a terrific race, and what a terrific performance again from Norden Morselli and Fermin Cacho, takes a very, very good silver for Spain and their arm-in-arm arm at the end of what was pulsating entertainment in the Seville Sports Palace. Well, that was a remarkable class from the part of Morselli. He just wound that up and Cacho found himself 
thinking that he was in with a chance, but when I tell you that the last 200 was in 26.2, the last 400 in 52.5, that is the sort of credential that leads us to believe that the task was more than difficult. Look at Cacho, uh, still worried whether he's going to get second place. He'd given up first place by then, but Morselli, he is the man to beat this summer as well, I can tell you that. Is this the new find? Is this the new front line of middle distance running? Uh, to take over from the old Brigadian, I wonder. I think it probably is. 1 minute 50.1 for the last 800 metres by Morsley. And this young fellow thinks, and so does his coach, that he can run a 3 minute 44 mile this summer. And that is a little matter of two seconds and more inside Steve Cram's world record. And that mile world record of Cram's has repelled all challenges from Awita. But uh, Norden Morselli and Cacho there, waving the Spanish flag. He, too, is one of the new wave of 1,500-metre runners who may usher out the old guard as the 90s get seriously underway. It was about Ovet, and it was about Co, and it was about Cram, and Awita and Bile in the 80s. But uh, Morselli and Cacho could be the men of the 90s.